Human Forward. Randstad. Hello again, and we are back after popular demand for the uh, second edition of Bento in the Bus. Did we, uh, did we copyright that? Did we copyright the jingle? Yeah, we copyrighted it. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, so Bento with the Boss is uh, where I get to scoff some uh, lovely tasty morsels uh, and have a little tete-a-tete. Do you know what that is? Kind of. What is a tete-a-tete? It's French. What is it? It means like a chin wag, like a little chat okay. with one of our best and uh, brightest within Randstad. All right, and I'm delighted to, uh, to welcome um, Erica Kiyose. Um, Erica isn't acting under my division, so this is kind of more like Bento with someone else's mind. <laughs> so, um, but I do know my device uh, quite quite well, and it's a wonderful opportunity for me, uh, you know, and obviously for, for you guys as well, but more importantly for me um, to get to know you a little bit better. So, thank you, Erica. And before we get stuck into this. Mabo Dolfu and Sichuan Chicken. Sichuan Chicken, thank you very much. Let's hear from you before we delve a bit deeper into okay. you and what makes you tick. So if you could introduce yourself, please. Hi everyone, I'm Erica. Um, I joined Ransat about eight months ago and I am currently an associate consultant for the medical device team. Um, before I joined Ransat, I worked as a couple of things like a I did like wait. I was a waiter. I did translations for medical articles. I was an English teacher and stuff like that, but all part time. And this is like my first real full time job. Wow. Okay, okay. I did this with Josh before Erica, uh -huh. and he did exactly the same mistake as you. Okay. Josh, you didn't maybe you didn't get the script, mate. This is an opportunity for everybody to understand who you are as well. So so let's okay. know like you know where you where you're from. Yeah, um, I was born in Japan and when I was two I moved to the States and I spent my time, well my entire childhood there and I came back to Japan when I was 12-ish I think. Um, spent my middle school here, high school here and then went back to the States for college. Yeah, it's about, well, what else do you want to know? <laughs> what, what, what else do you want us to know? What else do I want you guys to know? Okay. Um, I guess I'm really interested in medical things, mm -hmm. um, which is one of the reasons why I joined the medical device team. I studied biomedical engineering in college, and one of my future dreams is to be a psychiatrist. Future dreams to be a psychiatrist? Yeah. Okay, well, you, there's probably many people with a lot of issues in recruitment, so you can start, you know, yeah. you can start doing that. And um, so why, um, why Randstad? Mm -hmm. And just to show you my linguist, Linguistic abilities. Qu'est-ce que c'est recruitment? Pourquoi? Pourquoi Randstad? Okay, so this time we're going Spanish. Yeah, we are, we are. Yeah. Um, okay, um, the first well, thing that got me here is basically pure luck. I didn't really know this place existed at the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, but when I was working at a restaurant, mm -hmm. um, my current boss was one of my customers and um, we kind of talked at the table and we got to know each other and he was like, do you want to work with us? And I was like, yeah. And that was like the first entrance to Randstad. Yeah, I remember that. And your, you know, your boss, he, does he, he treads a fine line between like recruitment and Nampa. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you put it that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the guy that, you know, we, uh, we asked like everybody everybody like you know what their dream was and his was to get married yeah god bless him yeah and i think it's been the same dream for the last 10 years mm -hmm. god bless, god bless him. <laughs> so tell me more about the the bio biomed i wasn't clever enough for 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 biomedical engineering mm -hmm. i was quite interested to be a doctor and really i moved into pharma and device i was actually covering device in 2014 so mm -hmm. from 2014 to 2017 i was within the med device but oh, okay. tell me how that you know how your background is um, able to, um, you know, support your career here. Well, I've always wanted to do something that helped people, so I thought it's also helping people. Like mm -hmm. medicine's also helping people, but this is also helping people change their lives. Um, the experience I had in college really helps here because I know, well, I have prior knowledge about my field, so I don't really need to catch up on it. I can 
talk to candidates and look for people that the that, that the clients know mm -hmm. uh, that the clients want mm -hmm. uh, using my knowledge. Um, I feel like if if someone that didn't know anything about it came in, they'd need to catch up a lot, and they also wouldn't really understand what the people like what our clients want. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I guess it's helping. I'm also learning about the market a lot, uh, which is really helpful because. I can also learn about where I want to be in, in the future. <laughs> Good stuff. Should we, um, we've done very serious questions yeah. already, haven't we? Yeah. But, so I've got some other bits for you. Do you can we, should we get stuck into your, uh, your bits Definitely, and bobs? Yeah. yeah, fantastic. Is that enough? Yeah, thanks. Yeah? All right, good, good. What's this little noodly bit? I have no idea. All right, well, you find You can okay. tell me what that is. You mentioned you were bio, bio, the biomedical thing in the jiggies. Yes. Good, good, good. So I've got some got some scientific riddles for riddles, you. Riddles, okay. Yeah, okay. So what am I? What? What am I? What are you? I am a substance that is found in red blood cells and helps transport oxygen throughout the body. Without me, <laughs> Without me, cells would not receive enough oxygen. What am I? Begins with H. Begins with H. Ends in goblin. That's not a riddle. <laughs> is, is, is it a riddle? It's a question. Oh, it's a question. It's quite yeah. a riddle, isn't it? It's a riddle, isn't it? Hemoglobin. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the answer. That's yeah. what I am. Okay. Oh, you knew that, but you didn't want to say it. I get it. So I'm going to give you an easier one, and this time, tell me what the answer is. Okay. That's the point of this, all right? I am a tiny messenger carrying genetic code. I help build proteins and guide your body's mode. What am I? Very good. Am I ready? RNA. That's it, right? <laughs> Ribonucleic acid. I didn't know any of those. The only, one I, the only one I knew was skin. I'm a big organ and I protect the body. So there we go. That was good, wasn't it? Yeah. Fantastic. Good. Um, would you rather sing for, for the rest of your life or dance? That's a good question. Thanks, mate. I would rather sing all the time, probably. Are you a good singer? No, but I like singing. All right. Top, top three karaoke songs? Top of the world. But the carpenters. Yes. Wow. It's my. I don't know. I've heard it since I was a kid, mm -hmm. um, and I really like how it sounds, and I like the range. Mm. My favorite. Do you think that's? But would that be an appropriate Friday night no. karaoke song? Definitely not. So when would you have the opportunity to sing that song? When I go with my close friends, or okay. when it's like a small group. Yeah. Because your close yeah. friends, like eighty-year-old, like. Um, <laughs> Do they like watercolor painting flowers and stuff? <laughs> they like weird things, and I like weird things, so we match. Good. So you're moving into become 360, right? Mm -hmm. And for some people who are watching this that do don't know what 360 is, would you care to explain? Sorry, I have with a mouthful food of in my like mouth. pepper. So what I'm doing right now is well, I'm an associate consultant, and to move on to being a consultant there's like a a 360 phase where you do both acon work or associate consultant work and consultant work mm -hmm. and i will be moving on to doing that next quarter hopefully okay, okay. on yeah. the client side hopefully you yeah, definitely know you, you smashed it mm. what do you think the big challenge is that you will face moving into that role like so far, I've only been doing things that have to do with the candidates. I sometimes join client meetings, um, learn about the client side, um, and stuff like that, but I mainly work with the candidates. I go and find candidates, talk to the candidates, book the candidates to the cons, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So, moving on to 360, I think the biggest challenge will be to understand what the client wants, talk to the client, like do everything on the client side, and to also be able to control my time and do like the whole process by myself. So, mm. It seems pretty overwhelming, honestly. You think overwhelming? It's a lot. Yeah, so I was giving really good advice. If you don't feel like panic, you're not busy enough. I was always told that. Okay. It's okay to have those like 
three moments, you know, those three moments they were like, oh, I'm not gonna get done. But yeah, I'm, sh I'm sure you'll do very, very well. And what does Randstad do to kind of help you um, transition into, into that role? We do have like training sessions, kind of. Kind of? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> kind of? <laughs> Honestly, yeah, kind, kind of. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a kind of because we're not actually doing the things, we're just learning about them, hearing about them, mm. and things like that. I think what what really what will really help is the team that I have. Mm -hmm. Because whenever I have any questions, they're always there to help me. Um, they're really good at explaining, they're also really good at understanding how I'm feeling at the moment. Mm -hmm. So if I'm really overwhelmed, they'd kind of try to help me feel calmer or mm -hmm. and if I have any like issues they try to help me with that um, and work things as well even if like I ask any random questions or things that may seem kind of basic mm. they're always there to like help me so I think that's like the biggest part about where I said that's good at training like the, the support network this is a really question I wanted to ask you okay we have the free address right in the office yeah but you always choose <laughs> the most prominent seat <laughs> in the entire office. Like, why is that? Okay, um, like I said, I'm weird. Mm -hmm. I like things, like, consistent. Okay. And when I first came into the office, um, Nishi, he took me to that seat and he's like, sit here. And I'm like, okay. Then I sat there and he was like, you can choose any seat you want going forth, but we'll sit here for today. And I was like, okay. There we go, and that's it. Yeah, that's so it. So maybe, I asked you a question earlier about who would the person you would fight, but maybe whoever sits in that <laughs> tomorrow morning is the person that you honestly, would fight. Honestly, probably, yeah. Yeah. Um, sometimes when I come here, someone's already sitting there, and I just kind of freeze, and I'm just like, where, where, where do I go? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think mm -hmm. are the qualities mm -hmm. of a successful recruiter? Okay, um, probably consistency, uh -huh. <laughs> time management, dedication, mm. and keeping through the, like, what's the word? Keeping your promises. Yes. Keeping your promises. Alright, cool, cool. What gives you the most pride, pride in the job? In the job? Well, I really like the, that I know that I'm helping people, mm -hmm. and in a very um, selfish way, I like knowing that I'm doing good. Um, I think I'm really good at managing my data, having everything organized. Um, and I know that the people around me know that I'm doing that. Mm. And I like being able to help people, teach people like what I do. And also like I like to be consistent mm -hmm. and know that I'm being consistent. <laughs> Fantastic. And <clears throat> so if you were CEO of Randstad, okay. what was the what would be what would what the one change that you would make? I'd probably make two changes. Mm -hmm. Make the teams like the different teams talk to each other more. Okay. And get more monitors. We do, we need some more we monitors. Need more monitors. Don't we? we do need more monitors. Okay, so about that then, so I think um yeah, always I say like the the strength and the weakness of Rance that is mm -hmm. our sides, but you're within professionals, you mean like getting people to kind of communicate and talk more? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, like for, for like key account management and mm -hmm. sharing. Alright. Cool. Like, yeah. You know the you know what the fantastic thing about Rance that is? What? Is that we're always a very open arena for ideas. Mm -hmm. Alright, listen. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. I know you're going to smash it as a consultant. Thank and you. Uh, you know, there's a certain person in technology that knows a little about medical device. So if you ever need a, like a little bit of uh, a <laughs> little bit of help, well, let me know. Yeah. And uh, and what's your has hash hashtag hashtag for 2023? Better with the boss. Better with the boss. Better with the boss. <laughs> well done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, this one. Thank you very much. Bye bye.